God's GPS system. And I mentioned to you on Sunday when uh, we were trying to find this building and I didn't know where to go. Brother uh, Edward Davis, Edwin Davis, one of the elders, he told me how to get here. But you know, when you're young, uh, you think you're young, you think you can't remember everything. Uh, but for some reason, it's amazing, as I got in the car, all those directions went right out of my head. Uh, but thank God I had a, a GPS system. And I programmed in the system where I wanted to go. And it brought me right here to this location. And when I thought about that, I thought about the fact that, you know, just like um, man has a GPS system, I stopped by to tell you, God has a GPS system. Um, God's GPS system is God's plan of salvation. And I want us to understand, well, it's good to see Brother Wright, one of our elder brother Thomas Wright and his wife. Uh, it's good to see you back there tonight, Sister Wright. It's good to have you all tonight. Uh, it's, it's always good to have our leaders uh, with us um, tonight. Now, y'all know, Brother Powell, I usually don't look right at folks. I just want to look right over your head. So if you're here, I don't know you're here, but it's just good to have everybody. Um, that's here. And I need to say, Brother Carrison, God bless you, Brother Carrison, for the kindness that you have shown uh, this week and allowed me to come and share uh, with uh, Law Street my faith in Jesus Christ. And I appreciate that uh, so very, uh, very much. Brother Ulysses, good to see you as well, my brother. I'm looking forward to that gospel meeting I'm going to have with you uh, later on during the year as well in Tampa. So, uh, Brother Ulysses, I'm just going to carry on, just do part two over there in Tampa. That's a couple because I got too many sermons I didn't preach this week that I wanted to preach, but I'll just finish over there uh, in Tampa later on during the year if the Lord says the same. Now, a GPS system. God has a GPS system. Now, uh, what I want to do is very similar to what Jesus does. Jesus, he taught in parables. To teach in parables means to lay alongside. He would take an earthly story and he would lay it right alongside some divine truth. And to better to get you to understand the truth by some earthly story, by some earthly thing. That's why Jesus said one day a farmer went, uh, went forward to sow. Uh, he wasn't really concerned about a farmer sowing, but what he was talking about is the word of God being implanted in the hearts of men. And so therefore Jesus used parables. He was without question the master, the master teacher. So what I want to do, I want to look at uh, this GPS system and I want to lay it right alongside. Um, some spiritual truth. And so hopefully tonight, by the time I get to the point of extending heaven's invitation, there'll be somebody that will say yes to Jesus Christ. What is a GPS system? Well, I'm glad y'all asked me that because I get a chance to answer it. Well, a GPS system literally means global positioning uh, system. And it is um, exclusive. There's only one system uh, in regards to uh, this tracking device. Uh, it was created uh, by uh, Mr. Walsh, who became famous for it. Uh, it was the Air Force that basically uh, came up with a system uh, by which you'll be able to find out the location of a particular thing, the speed of it, uh, in regards to the distance from it. And so therefore, it was uh, in 1983 uh, where President Ronald Reagan, after the Korean Airlines 007 was shot down, he decided to uh, sign into law where civilians will have the opportunity to have access to this particular system. Now there are over 20, there are over 20 satellites that circle the United States and they send microwave signals down to the earth. Now, and I'm gonna make all this applicable, y'all just, I'm just giving you just the history uh, behind the thing now. Well, and they send uh, these uh, particular system that was signed into law in 19. 83 and and it's interesting because the system today is still being monitored and maintained by the Air Force at a cost of 750 million dollars per year and it's a very very expensive in regards to these satellites that orbit the earth now uh, to make this applicable to us now even though the satellites the signal is sent from heaven you have to have the right device to pick up the signal.